When Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The works that I do shall ye do also, and greater works than these shall ye do, he knew whereof he spoke, continued St. Germain. He came forth to reveal the conscious dominion and mastery that it is possible for every human being to attain and express while still here on earth. He showed the dominion of the ascended master and proved to mankind that it is possible for everyone to so call forth his God self that he can consciously control all things human. The great ascended masters of love, light, and perfection who have guided the expansion of the light in humanity on this planet from the beginning, are no figment of anyone's imagination. They are real, visible, tangible, glorious, living, breathing beings, all such love, wisdom, and power that the human mind gasps at the immensity of it. They work everywhere in the universe with complete freedom and limitless power to do naturally all that the average individual considers supernatural. They are wielders of such power and manipulators of such force as to stagger the imagination of the person in the outer world. They are the guardians of the race. And as in the world of physical education, various grades of teachers are provided to guide the development of the individual's growth from childhood to maturity and then beyond, preparing him for special work, so do the ascended masters of perfection exist to educate and help the individual, that he too may expand his consciousness beyond ordinary human expression. Thus he develops his superhuman attributes, until, like the student graduating from college, the one under the care and instruction of an ascended master graduates out of his humanity into the full continuous expression of his divinity. The ascended master is an individual who by self-conscious effort has generated enough love and power within himself to snap the chains of all human limitation. And so he stands free and worthy to be trusted with the use of forces beyond those of human experience. He feels himself the oneness of omnipresent God, life. Hence all forces and things obey his command because he is a self-conscious being of free will controlling all by the manipulation of the light within himself. It is through the radiation or outpouring of this light, which is really his own numinous essence of divine love, that an ascended master is able to help those who come under his care and direction. When such an outpouring to a student takes place, his own inner bodies, and by that I mean his emotional, mental, and causal bodies, absorb the master's luminous essence and the light within them glows and expands like a spark which one fans into a flame. This luminous essence has within it the highest force in the universe, for it dissolves all discord and establishes perfect balance in all manifestation. The ascended master's body is constantly pouring out rays of his light essence upon the discords of earth, dissolving them as the rays of force which we call light and heat from our physical sun dissolve a fog. The radiation they pour out to humanity on earth is consciously drawn energy to which they give quality and again send it out to accomplish a definite result. In this way they give protection thousands and thousands of times to persons, places, conditions and things of which mankind is totally oblivious. Going on its appointed way serenely unconscious of its protectors and benefactors. In this kind of activity, the ascended masters are able to change the bodies they function in like one ordinarily changes his clothes, for the cellular structure is always under conscious control and every atom is obedient to their slightest direction. They are free to use one or more bodies if the work they desire to do requires it, for their ability to assemble or dissolve an atomic body is absolutely unlimited. They are all powerful manifestors of all substance and energy for the forces in nature which mean the four elements are their willing and obedient servants. These glorious beings who guard and help the evolving human race are called the ascended masters of love, light, and perfection. 
They are all the word master implies, because by bringing forth the love, wisdom, and power of the God-self within, they manifest their mastery over all that is human. Hence they have ascended into the next expression above the human, which is the superhuman, divinity, pure, eternal, all-powerful perfection.